All right, let's take a look at 1Password. This is an awesome app, and I'd like to do a little introduction so you have an idea of how to use it. I'm gonna click on the 1Password icon in the bottom left here, and you're gonna see the reason why it's called 1Password, because you have to right away enter in your one super secretive password. So I'm gonna press enter. It's gonna open it up. This is gonna be my primary vault with the 500, over 550 passwords that I have. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to switch to another one. Uh, to show you exactly what it will look like when you start. When you start, there won't be any type of logins or any secure notes or any information saved at all. So you're gonna have to enter that information in. So what I'm gonna do is do that right now to show you exactly how you would do it and then how 1Password would work once you get it up and running. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign. I'm gonna uh, add a login. So I'm gonna click on that. And this is gonna be the Gmail login and it's gonna be for Food Blogger Pro. And the username is bjork at foodbloggerpro.com. And I have the password saved here, so I'm gonna paste it in. I'm gonna blur it out so you can't see it. Log in and see all my Food Blogger Pro emails. I'm gonna click off there and that will save the password. And then the website, now usually you could just enter in gmail.com or something like that. But what I like to do is I like to actually get the exact login URL. And in this case, it's a long kind of complicated URL. So I'm gonna, copy that and paste it in, and then I'm gonna click save. So essentially the three things that I've done is entered in the username, the password, and then the specific URL for logging in to Gmail. Now watch this, all that I need to do when I'm in the 1Password app is to double click on the login that I wanna use, and that will automatically open up the browser, it'll enter the information in, and it will log me in to my Food Blogger Pro account. Pretty slick. Now I wanna show you something else that's really cool. I'm gonna sign out of this, and I'm going to remove that saved information so we don't have any Gmail information saved. And I'm gonna say, let's pretend that we are on CNN.com. We're reading the news and we say, hey, done reading the news, now I want to check my email. So all I have to do is go up to the top right here, and I've installed, it's called a browser extension. And if I, let's say, I'm gonna quit out of 1Password here. If I didn't have 1Password open, what would happen is I would click on this, I would enter in my 1Password password, and then I would search for Gmail. Now, this is the primary vault, so I actually wanna to switch to the example so you can see what it looks like for our example vault. And then I'm gonna click on Gmail. I'm gonna click out of this, and it will automatically log us in. Really, really slick. So that's an example of how 1Password works, and if I switch back to 1Password here, you can see that this will be the area where all of your login and um, username information is gonna be stored. So over time, you'll slowly start to build this up. It'll have all of those unique passwords, all of that information saved here. So you don't have to worry about storing it on an insecure document on your computer, or worse yet, in your head or written down on a piece of paper. That's the overview for 1Password. <laughs>